everyone, Queso Man Rules here again. Today's video is about a new service that I found on the internet called Tenito. Tenito is an excellent, excellent service, and it's completely free and under an open source license, so there's no worry about anything. So, what I'm going to show you guys today is how to get it, how to use it, what it is, and how it's going to be useful for you. So, if you go to Tenito.com, the link will be in the description, you can view their homepage. As you can see, if you scroll down the page, it tells you all their features. And look at these pictures here if you want. Pretty much, I'm going to tell you just a basic of what Tenito is. What it does is you install a cross-platform software, which is cool, it's cross-platform. And you can ins you install it on your computer, and pretty much what it does is it makes a little tiny web server on your computer. And then once it does that, you can go into their awesome user interface and do just about anything. You can do web sharing, photos, you have a workspace, a jukebox for music, it does everything. If you look at the pictures, you can see the different things, and this is a picture of the interface and all this stuff is. And this is really, really great stuff. It's excellent if you have like a work group of people, like friends that you have like a small business with, or you guys just like to share stuff a lot, this is great. So if you have a group of friends and you guys want to share stuff, there's no better way than this. So what you all do is you all install this software, and it doesn't matter if one of you has Windows, one of you has Mac, and the other one has Linux, you can all do it the same way. So you go on to, what you do is you open up their awesome software and take you to your local server, and what you can then do is access your friend's servers on their computers, and access their data that they've uploaded on there, so it's just a big group sharing um, software, and it's awesome, it really is, it gives you unlimited options, it's really cool. So what I'm going to show you guys how to do is install it and run you uh, run you through how to use it and more of the features once we get into it. So first thing you need to do is get it, of course, so go to tenido.com and you can read up on this stuff here if you're not quite sure about it yet, but I'm going to skip right to going to the download, so just click download and you can select which one you want, it just depends on your OS, so I'm running Windows, of course, so I'm going to click that and under here under Windows, click download and save it where you're going to find it. That download will begin and it does not take too long. Alright, and we are done. So once it's downloaded, open the folder where you saved it to. Right down here. This is in my downloads folder. Just double click the setup and you can begin installing it just like a usual application and select install. So after you've installed it, you have this program now running on your system called Tenito. I have a shortcut right here just for the purposes of this tutorial, and when you click on it, it starts up in your system tray and says it's starting up. Immediately what it'll do is it'll start up a web page right here, and it'll ask you to select a profile, but I've already uh, done a profile, but I'm going to run you guys through how to uh, set up a new profile. Okay guys, so then when uh, you first start it up and it goes onto this web page, you'll see that this is now um, gray, and it'll always be gray for you until you set it up. And you'll get this page right here where it says Tenito Profile. You'll have no profile set up yet, so click Create Profile, and go down here, and we're going to need to type in something, so I'll just do like one that I already just set up. Just type in your password, you have to have um, at least 8 characters and a number. Um, just type in a question. I'm not going to do it because you know how to do this in your hint. Um, if you want them to help with their beta, keep that checked. If you don't, uncheck it. Always uh, check that and click create. I've already done it, so you're going to automatically log in. And I'm going to type in my password here. And it'll begin logging you in. And you'll get to this screen right here. This is the control panel for all your stuff. So, as you can see, you have several things like jukebox, photos, search. Thoughts is a online personal journal blog sort of thing for your group. It actually is very similar to WordPress in style. Um, web share, where you can just share files, and your workspace. Workspace is excellent if you have groups of people that are working on a project. You have calendar, tasks, and updates that people have posted about their progress. It's really, really useful for all this stuff. Timeline has an RSS feed that you can access so you know even if you're not logged on. Calendar is excellently set up, very useful, easy to use. And I mean, I can't even run through all of this 
you know, in the time that I have to be able to make this tutorial because there's so much. But you guys can go to apps, apps let you do stuff like upload your jukebox photos or all that right from your desktop without starting up Tenito. And um, your groups, different groups for different profiles. And just your information, you can set up your profile, give yourself a picture. It's incredibly useful and does pretty much everything you can imagine. You go into web share and there's all that. And it's, it's really, really great. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, just just jump into it and check it out. Give it a try. It's still in beta, so they'll continue to update it. But I'm telling you, in a year or two from now, this is going to be so big. It's ridiculous. So go get it now, check it out, and get a head start on it so you'll be an expert at it when it comes around. Big. And you'll love it. And it's under an open source license, so it can never cost money. And you can, you know, it's, it's completely free. No issues like that. And if you ever um, just want to start it up, just go to your start menu, and after you install it, it should be in here, just click Tenedo, and it'll open up in your system tray and automatically log you into your profile, and if you ever want to go in here, it'll automatically open it up, and you can type in your password, and it'll log you in. So that's it, you guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial on this excellent uh, open source program called Tenedo. The links for the program will be in the description, as well as a couple other ones that might help you out. Thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. This is Case of Men Rules. See you next time.